Welcome to Dr. Chester Rants, and I'm gonna rant about this. I'm bounding into comics. Disney's live-action Mulan remake bombs at Chinese box office. Well, I'm not surprised based on how crappy it is. Look, I haven't seen it, and I don't think I will bother wasting my precious time watching a piece of shit. I saw a few clips here and there about it, and it looks bad. I mean, even the action sequences look bad. I, it really, really bad. Like, like comedy movies um, trying to mock action sequences bad, or even um, those B movies action sequence bad. It's really, really bad. I, I mean, you think one of, one of those ninja stars would you throw someone and perforate the armor and she flies away back? Jesus Christ, that, that was absurd. And she apparently doesn't have the same problems as the original uh, movie, like uh, not not problems in, in a way as in problems, but problems as in she had difficulty uh, learning things, she was growing as a person, she wasn't a superhero, practically a superhero like in this movie, but uh, she she was cumbersome, she uh, she, in the ha she even had a, a funny dragon, and she would, uh, she had problems learning things, she was like a normal person, only then she became good. But no, in this movie, she's good from the get-go. She's like a prod prodigy child. Uh, in fact, she wasn't even allowed to get hurt. Anyway, oh, and even more so, they actually filmed this in a region that, uh, that they are kind of uh, having a small little genocide and control of the Uyghurs population in the region. Yeesh. Even thank the org propaganda organization behind it. That wasn't enough, to, apparently, to appease the Chinese market. Despite the working relations with the Chinese government during the production of the film, Disney's live action Mulan remake has bombed in its opening weekend in China. Congratulations, Disney. According to the deadline, Mulan grossed only 52.5 <coughs> million renminbi. What's renminbi? on its opening Friday, September 11th. Oh, it's the local currency. Right, it's 8 point... Holy shit, that's it in dollars for a for a population not that big? Holy shit, that was bad. As of, as of Saturday, the film has only grossed an additional 9 million. And analysts predict that the total release weekend gross will be in the low 20 million range, an abysmal box office return compared to the film's 200 million budget. Holy shit. Prior to the outbreak of the Wuhan virus pandemic, Disney ex expected the Chinese market to contribute significantly, significantly to the film's bo oh, box office and tear up record books. <sighs> Aside from the Wuhan virus-related circumstances that have led to a widespread reduction in cinema revenue, Mulan's failure was facilitated by a general dissatisfaction with the quality of the film, as the film currently holds a 4.7 out of 10 on Chinese review site Dubang. Dubang! 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 And at 7.7 .7 on ticketing platform Meiwan! Another factor that undoubtedly contributed to the film's pure, poor debut are the numerous controversies surrounding the film throughout the, its release and production. That reminds me, the main actress that you saw here, uh, she also criticized the protests in Hong Kong and sided with the Chinese government against those protests. She is pretty much anti-freedom. Even though she's a good looking actress, but she's dumb as a knob. In 2019 star. Oh yeah, she they mentioned here. In 2019 star Liu Yifei, Liu Yifei we support for the Hong Kong police force and brutality and the brutality they enacted upon the region's democratic protesters, which resulted in a wave of backlash from both Hong Kong residents, protesters and their Western supporters. Upon the film upon the film's release, it was discovered that Disney worked closely with the Chinese Communist Party to film the in the controversial Xiang 
Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, where the CCP is actively abusing human rights of the region's Uyghur people. Mulan is currently available for streaming on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, that's the type of stuff that we are dealing here with. And Disney doesn't seem to be learning the lessons on the Star Wars shenanigans. Maybe, maybe they already had um, at least a good chunk of the Mulan movie made uh, when they f when they when they la they learn what the shit the shit stain that was the new trilogy of Star Wars that they regretted it. Maybe that's why they they didn't try to fix this on the Mulan movie. I don't know. Maybe they, they still haven't learned the lesson. Maybe they will need to lose more money and more, and more, uh, let's say, more um, shenanigans for them to learn. I, I don't know. But hopefully they learn soon before they go bankrupt. Uh, let's face it, um, even Marvel, their comic book subdivision, which is part of Marvel itself, no, not part of Marvel. Marvel is part of the comic book division of Disney. It is doing badly. Uh, well, in their defense, DC Comics is also doing badly because they are all fucking woke bastards. And people are tired of woke preachy shenanigans. And maybe that's the reason why this movie also tanked. Because you can't have a woman with flaws anymore in the current year because apparently a woman with flaws is bad it's absurd absurd well thank you for watching see you on my next video good night